I woke up at 6. I ate fucking at the 7-Eleven. They had chicken and rice frozen. Really? I just eat that for breakfast. You know, <laughs> I like, keep it, keep it, put it in the microwave in the morning. I eat that. Yeah. Th- Three-mile run for a warm-up. Yep. Got fucking an hour of uh, hour of pads, and then we got an hour of sparring, mm-hmm. and then we got like 30 minutes of like um, bag work or mm-hmm. conditioning or something like that. Yep. Yeah, Do that. Uh, I'd eat, shower. Uh, watch Sopranos and fall asleep in the middle of the day mm-hmm. get up eat again and then go do it again so I did two days cool. for almost a month just doing that I didn't talk to anybody I didn't make no friends <laughs> I didn't go see anything I didn't see no sights in Thailand I just yeah. went and did that the entire time and when I um, after the first week I'm like hey I want to fight here and he's like no I'm like I'll give you $300 if you get me a fight and he's like well hold on now yeah. this makes more sense to me so I was like yeah thank you uh, you know because they were just like you know he just didn't want me to you know because yeah. like finding a fight for a 6'1 200 pound American is like yeah. not easy in Thailand so uh, yeah. finally they found someone at a, they were in Simbi Muay Thai um, mm-hmm. and then like two days before I left I got that fight and I won with a step knee I think I broke the dude's ribs it was mm-hmm. like a TKO or whatever nice um, so technically undefeated Muay Thai. Yeah, there you, know, you go. One and up. You, know? <laughs> there you go one and done, baby. Yeah, so <laughs> went out there, did that. It was cool though. I mean, there's like a thousand people there. You yeah. know, it was just like a whole different experience. It was outside. outside yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was outside yeah, and like just crazy. getting back. You know, they're just fucking covering you in that liniment that just burns everything in your body. Of yeah. sweating before I even started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just a whole fucking awesome experience. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm glad I did it. Win or lose, you know, I'm, I'm glad I did it. Glad I fucking of course, won. Man. Course. you know but uh did out I, I mean i went out there did the y crew you mm-hmm. know i had a whole mm-hmm. couple days just to learn that yep. you know and like yep. learn what that's about and like yeah. kind of the culture and everything behind it and that's what i mean a lot of that stuff is like you know this is like why i don't know there's just more to muay thai than than kickboxing to me mm-hmm. i mean not besides the elbows the tradition know? of it tradition anyway. yeah that's yeah. what i was into was the traditional yeah. part of it so yeah, when it went out there, uh, did that, and I tore my ACL in the second round of the fight. Mm-hmm. I didn't know at the time, but it just kept, you know, kept. Have you ever torn it before? Yeah, I just, oh. I just got my ACL torn like right. last year. Yeah. Yep. So it just started giving out yeah. in the fight, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? But I, my adrenaline was just like so much. I got, mm-hmm. I got, still got a scar. I got a cut on the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Don't even remember when I got elbowed. Uh, you yeah. know, so. Yeah. I, it just fights when, like, like, where the fuck did I get this? Yeah, yeah. Where does this happen? Yep. So that's pretty much what it was. I was and out doing the Y crew, I was like, man, I feel good. Like, my mm-hmm. adrenaline isn't fucking up and blah. That was one thing I was worried about. It's just this adrenaline dump. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And, and it happened. No matter what I told myself, oh, breathing, no anything. Yeah. It's how you it's how you can cope with that stress yeah. is really what it is. Yep. I, mean, I mean, you've been through it, man. You've been through war. Yeah. You know, really, honestly. At the end of the day, it's, it's hand-to-hand combat. And either way, you're in control of your environment. And there's a referee there so at you know at any given moment you still have the opportunity to c- control it and protect yourself yeah you know yep and uh I, th- I would say after midway through the second round i was like man like my shit it just doesn't fe- i didn't feel as sharp like mm-hmm. I, I knew what was happening in my own head mm-hmm. you know i just mm-hmm. didn't feel as sharp and um then the third round oh you know because oh, we're doing i mean training fucking four or five six hours a day sometimes you yeah. know hitting pads for an infinite amount of rounds getting yeah, yeah. fresh training partners all this stuff yeah. then it goes to it and like halfway through the second round you know my body's just like hey um we got too hype you know because <laughs> you know i'd never uh i'd never like you know and like my main low leg kick that's like my main fucking weapon that i've been that i use the yeah. entire time i'm just blasting this dude with low leg kicks yeah. and you know, he checked a couple of them, but same thing. I didn't feel a single thing. Mm-hmm. And now, when I'm just doing like some light sparring, if I catch someone just accidentally on the knee, I'm like, God damn, that fucking yeah. hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so yes, got definitely. that. Um, I got fucking one awesome feeling. Got, to, I got this cut stitched up in like the in a Thai locker room. Mm-hmm. You know, by some random fucking Thai guy. They're like, oh, just just sit here. You know. <laughs> Put, they put some needle or something in my head and they stitch it up. Yeah. You know, and like. You're good uh, to go. Yeah. Yeah. Not you're there. good to go. And then two days later, I'm on a fucking flight back home. Oh, my man. knee is this big. Oh, my man. foot is black and blue. My face is fucked up. I got the stitch on my head. I'm like, all right, this is. That was great, though. You know? Yeah, yeah. 